Okay, good afternoon everyone. It is 1.29 <coughs> p.m. on January 10th of 2019. I'd like to call to order the public meeting of the New York State Board of Parole for January 10th of 2019. Happy New Year everyone. Public notice for this meeting is on our Department of Corrections and Community Supervision website as well as posted in all three locations where we are video conferencing from today. The Buffalo office, the New York City office, and the Albany office. I'd like to begin by uh, calling the roll, starting with the Buffalo office. Please state your names. Commissioner Joe Pringle, Commissioner Capola. Thank you. And the New York City office. Thank you. And here in Al Albany, you have uh, myself, Chairwoman Stanford. Tom Agostini, Commissioner. Eric Berliner, Commissioner. Kathy Kiley, Council to the Board of Parole. Rocio Villa. Also joining us from Council's office. Elliot McIntosh, Associate Council. Sean Bashin, Assistant Counsel. And also present is Special Assistant to the Chair. State your name for the record, please. Chelsea Missary. Thank you. Based upon the numbers present in the three locations, we have a quorum. Our total number of board members presently assigned and appointed is 12. We have, don't talk about and, and for the record, there are no members of the public uh, present in any of the three locations that I can see. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. correct. That is correct. No one here in Buffalo. Thank you. We have one item of business for today's meeting, and that is to vote regarding proposed regulations. At this time, I'm going to recognize our counsel, Kathy Kiley, to provide some background for our vote today. Okay. In November of new, 2018, you were all given copies of the regulations that we are voting on today. Uh, it's 9 NYCRR 8002.6, which has to do with how time assessments are calculated. You are also received 9 NYCRR 8003.2, which has to do with the standard conditions. And then also you received 9 NYCRR 8005.20, which also has to do with the parole guidelines. Everybody got a copy of that, correct? Actually, multiple copies, as I recall. Correct. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Good. All right, so that is what we're going to be voting on today um, to vote on these proposed regulations to put them into or actually submit them to the state register for publication uh, that will be published on January 30th in the state register and then the proposed regulations will also be posted on the New York State Docs website. So um, you know, they will go in the state register for a 60 day comment period, and then I'll address uh, the rest of it after we do the vote. Okay. Thank you. Is everyone ready for the question? All in favor of the proposed regulations, please indicate Aye. by show of hands and by saying aye. 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 Uh, are we voting on all of them at this time? All, all together. All together. Yes. If there was any question with any one item, this is not an opportunity to do that. I wasn't here in November. Well, what question do you have? I'm sorry. Um, in uh, 8003.2, number two, 
reads, I will not leave the state of New York or any other state to which I am released or transferred. And then it says, or any area defined in writing by my parole officer without permission. And in my experience, there are geographical boundaries sometimes that are set in the way by using conditions. But this says that you will not leave that area as defined by that parole officer, when normally it's an area of restriction you not to enter, not to enter in parole, one's on parole, not necessarily leave. So from the state, to not leave the state, I understand that. But the add up or any area defined, one would be leaving in the same regard. Would that be considered a special condition, though? I will not enter yeah. this area? Yeah. And so could it be satisfied with a special condition, your concern? It could be satisfied by a special condition. And normally that is. That's what it is. 27 geographic, I think, would cover that. I'm Correct. Not sure that I think so. Well, I was thinking uh, primarily uh, in the sense of confining sex offenders' entrances to areas that was uh, typical of the incident offense. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you might, in New York, for example, you might say, bounded by Avenue A on the east side. Again, that would be probably in a special condition. Mm -hmm. And certainly something that could be imposed. If I could just add, yes, the please. language in that condition is identical to current condition number three. So it's not different. It has not been changed. Okay. Okay. So we have voted. And then we have a unanimous vote. I'm sorry, I didn't ask. Oh, Are there sorry. any nays? Sorry. I didn't see any hands that, well, I take that back. Let's do the vote again, because there was a question <laughs> yes. that interrupted the vote, and Commissioner Cruz did not vote. So all in favor of the proposed regulations as presently constructed and given to you, please indicate by saying aye and a show of hands. Aye. 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 Are there any nays? Okay, the motion is carried uh, unanimously by all commissioners present. Council Kiley? Okay. Um, as I mentioned before, this will be put in the state register uh, on January 30th, and also the regulations will be posted to the New York State Docs website. Um, and they will be found under legal and law or rules and regulations. Um, if there were public comments, public comments can be submitted uh, via email to rules at docs.ny.gov. And there's also an address that will be posted in the state register in case anybody wants to mail comments or they need copies of the proposed regulations. Um, and once the 60 day comment period is over, we'll assess the comments. Okay. At this point, um, I just want to put on the record that our next meeting, our next regular business meeting will be January 28th of 2019 at 1 p.m. And as is usual, that will be at the Department of Corrections and Community Supervision Training Academy here in Albany, New York. I have sent invitations to, those, to that meeting to everyone. If you haven't already responded, please review uh, your invitation and respond as soon as possible. And with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. Motion to adjourn. Motion made by Commissioner Berliner. Second, Second. appears by Commissioner Shapiro. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, thank you that we are adjourned.